Hey everybody, welcome back to another JBoz gaming video. This is your host, JBoz, and today I'd like to continue our map strategies series. Today we're going to be covering the map called Highway. All right, so the standard three ways you can play the map, either as a standard battle where you have opposing cap circles uh, in opposite corners of the map, and there's, of course, uh, the encounter battle, which will have the cap circle in the uh, city, the, I guess we'll call it the southeast corner of the map. And then there's, of course, total destruction or destruction, whatever they call it. Um, but there's no cap circle in that, in that particular uh, game. It's a fairly open map. So there's, you know, m a multitude of ways that folks can traverse the map. We'll start with the red cap, which is in the southwest corner, as I've drawn it today. We'll kind of look at how we should proceed. Now, again, we're talking about a standard battle, so this doesn't exist. In my opinion, it is not worth taking your gun out of the fight and taking it to the city. You should be able to leave maybe one or two tank destroyers over here uh, and still hold any flanking forces coming out of the city. If they take the city, so what? It doesn't matter. The fight in standard battle really should be here. This is where most of the fight's going to occur. And so what happens is you generally want a light tank or a medium tank, a fast tank to come down to the river and spot any defenders that would be up on this hill. Typically what happens is the green team if you will, will move, will move forces up to the berm of the hill, and they'll also move forces over here to protect their uh, flank coming out of the city. So the, the general way this map would play is people would flow through this side of the map to obviously this side. There is protection behind this hill here, there's protection behind this hill here, and there's protection behind uh, certain buildings in this little uh, scattered farm area. What you want to do is get into a sniping position over here while those that are spotting for the team will try to traverse down the hill. Usually what they do, or the, a safe way to do this, is to traverse down the ravine, down the river, underneath the bridge, and come up this side, spotting as much as you can from the first uh, side. You need to quickly move across the river area spotting as many people on the crest of the hill as possible. Once you do that, then as long as there's people in sniping positions across the map, they should be able to take these people out fairly quickly, and certainly before you would get killed. If you go too early, then what's going to happen is you're going to get spotted and probably killed before these people are even in place. So you got to be smart as a potential fast, light, or medium tank to traverse this you know, at the right time. And you can, you really want to stay on this side so that they can't shoot down on you. And you'll traverse, you know, as much as you can, this area as quick as you can, trying to spot as many people as, as possible. And of course, you'll, you'll obviously make passes through this river valley as, as much as you can to get spotting and, and assist damage. Uh, folks over here will obviously, you know, you place tank destroyers or any kind of sniping tanks over here. This is not really a heavy map, though heavies do can play a role. A lot of heavies tend to go towards the city because they're scared of artillery. So let's start with artillery first. Artillery usually set back if they're the green if they're on the green side, the green artillery will set back here behind the cap and they'll sit kind of back in this area. If they're red artillery, then they're going to generally sit back over here if it's a standard battle. If it is an encounter battle, the green uh, artillery probably will still sit in the same place. In an encounter battle, the, this artillery might actually move up or behind or in this, this area here to prevent anybody from sniping them from the city uh, if they get, you know, obviously light tanks to spot early. So that's where your artillery are. Where already safe is behind buildings and major hills on the map, though hills are not completely safe. So this is an arty friendly map, and if you have multiple arties, then you need to take that into consideration. But for the most part, as a heavy tank, you can move into the ravine, you can move, you can move uh, up to housing positions or behind these hills 
over here and still be able to contribute to the battle without having to move into the city. If you do move down this flank, I still would not move into the city. I would only move as far as to protect this flank from people coming through or around the city flank or city side. So yeah, so that's uh, pretty much the direction and flow of a standard battle from the red team's perspective. Now let's take a look from the green team's perspective. So you're gonna have forces pull up from spawn and usually you spawn back here a little bit from spawn to the front side of this ravine. You'll also have green forces pull over here to uh, this hill and take position either on this hill or right here, right here in front of the road. There's some, some bushes and shrubs that you can kind of hide in. And so you'll see a lot of tanks sit here on the tracks and uh, on, the, on the hillside here. You'll have a few people hold back in case the red team is successful in wiping their defending forces out up front. But for the most part, the green folks are gonna stay in a standard battle over here. And they're gonna do the same thing. They're gonna send light tanks down here to traverse the river. And they're gonna be doing the exact same thing the red lights and mediums are, just trying to spot anybody over here while their defenders take out the opposing side. Again, because they're closer, if you start to do this too soon, too early, well, one, there's nobody to spot because the red team has to traverse much quicker. And two, you won't allow the, your folks to get in position early enough to snipe anybody that is already there. So you gotta be smart as a light and medium tank not to push this too early. Basically, the other, th other thing that a light tank can do is try to win the light tank battle. So not only are you trying to spot, but you're also trying to eliminate their eyes as well. So if you can eliminate their light tank in the river valley, that would be kudos to you. The, the green team can also take position under the bridge and, and protect themselves from fire. Usually it's on this side of the bridge and, and sniping back to uphill positions. You can also run a light tank if you know you've got control of the map up the river, under the bridge, up the river. And again, same deal. You're trying to pull up here to spot anybody on the cap circle or anybody back here that you can. So you can, you as a light tank, you've got, this is definitely a light tank friendly, uh, or it's not a friendly map, but it's definitely a, a, an opportunity to get a lot of spotting damage as a light tank. And also tank destroyers thrive on this map because you can sit back and if the light tanks are doing their job, you can get a lot of damage uh, by, by sniping. So in general, light tanks are playing in this river valley over here in the standard battle. Now in encounter battle, that's a little bit different. We're gonna talk about that. We're gonna save that for the end. But lights and mediums are going to this river valley. So we've kind of discussed and I think covered generally what those tanks are supposed to do. You might even have a few run up the line here as green to try to take, take this corner away from, from folks and prevent them from traversing down this way. That's another move that a light or medium tank that's fast can try to make. So let's move on to heavies. Uh, heavies, like I said, they they gen generally want to stay back. They want to use the river as protection. Uh, they don't really want to, in a standard battle, traverse to the city, though I see them do it every time. And all that does is take another gun out of the fight. If you're a heavy, get behind a house and let your light tank spot, pop out, and shoot. I know you don't like to be snipers as heavies, but that this, this map forces you to get already safe and really call down and try to uh, do, do, do the best you can until you take control of the, the river valley. Once you have control of the river valley, then heavies can move down the road or down the, the hill into the river and up the other side to take the cap circle. Tank destroyers, pretty easy. Tank destroyers uh, for the green side are definitely gonna be setting up here on this hill, uh, across this hill anywhere. They're also going to be pushed up to these positions over here. And there might even be a few that set uh, knock trees down and sit behind those trees here. And there can even be some that are sitting behind buildings further up, even though they won't have as much advantage shooting across the map, they can still uh, snipe those that are, that, that are spotted deep. So that's uh, the green tank destroyers. Red tank destroyers, as you can imagine, they're going to be on the opposing side. There might be a fast light or a fast uh, tank destroyer that gets to this corner. Uh, certainly will be tank destroyers that sit over here on this uh, this hillside that are going to shoot across and snipe the, the middle. 
there'll be tank destroyers positioned in this little kind of town. It's not even a town. It's a just a, a you know group of structures here. Um, there, I think there's a um, windmill or something. You know, you'll always have somebody trying to sit there, whether it's a tank destroyer or a medium uh, or a heavy. There's going to be somebody sitting here, and that's going to give them sniping positions on these defenders over here. So you will also want to set probably a tank destroyer over here, either behind this building or around these buildings, uh, taking cover here, but still able to shore up any any protection that's needed from a flanking foe out of the city. It really only takes one or two tanks, not just tank destroyers, but just one or two tanks to really eliminate anybody that tries to traverse out of the city, down the hill, up the hill, and trying to take your cap circle from this direction. Pretty much everybody, I talked about Artie, we talked about lights and mediums, we talked about heavies. Yeah, so I think, I think we're good uh, from a standard battle. So let's talk about an encounter battle. So this whole whole thing can still play out uh, where you have some folks that are going to push to this side to try to outflank the position. So you do want to leave a defender or two back here and a light tank that spots anybody early trying to make, make this flank. If they bring more numbers than can be defended by the three or two tanks that you leave over here, all they have to do is fall back there's no cap circle, right? They fall back to the rail the railroad positions or even to the hill positions and slowly, you know, just slow the advance of their flanking maneuver, where the most of your forces, if you're green, are going to move into the city. That's the name of the game in the encounter battle is. You're gonna push to this side. Now, tank destroyers and maybe a few mediums might spot up here to try to shoot across. So let's say you have several tanks that position themselves. Oops, I'm sorry. You have several tanks taking positions here, right? To shoot across the streaming red team as they try to take the cap circle in the encounter battle, which you'll want to do. If you're the red team and if you're not fast, just know that you're gonna have fire coming from this area over here. So you've got to get close to this hill in order to protect yourself more. And because this is this uh, road is on a little berm. And so you want to stay next to that road and try to keep your head down as you traverse to the city. You'll also want to put counter, counter position fire or defenders here that shoot back at this position here to allow your team to get to the city, right? And you can also try to shoot them though. The green in this particular map, the green has a kind of safe route, route to the city. If they want to go safely, they can. They'll just go behind the tracks and, and go right into the city. As a red team, you need to be aware of this. And why, and I see it a lot, uh, the red team tries to outflank the green team. And, and that's somewhat silly because you need to overwhelm the green team as much as possible in the city. And so obviously heavies and mediums are all going to the city. Tank destroyers are going to set in the same damn positions and they're gonna shoot into these areas right here. Tank destroyers are gonna take positions here and here, and even some that have better armor will push into the city, especially if you're a full turreted tank destroyer, the city can be uh, a little bit easier to navigate in. So you can help your team take that cap circle. Uh, light tanks, uh, you wanna push up to these positions early and spot as many people as you can so that you know where the defenders are sitting and try to get them to move off, move off their defensive positions. Now, light tanks also have the opportunity to stream down into the river valley and th through and under the bridge to win this river river section here. I'll call this kind of the river neutral zone. And you want to try to win this as a light tank because then you can spot people on the hill. You can eliminate their lights from doing similar things to your opposing side. And so this is usually what I'll call a, a light battle here <laughs> between light tanks, maybe even some mediums too that have some speed, but you want to take this position away as quick as possible so that people can't, you know, position here and, and again, spot people trying to go to the city, snipe on people that are your defenders trying to help people get to the city and so on. I would not post up too many tanks here or here because if you have one or two tanks sniping, that's about enough. You really need to get as many forces as you can into the city to start eliminating the city. Now, let's let's talk about this a little bit, how to attack the city here in an encounter battle. So the red team, 
is obviously streaming this way into the city. They want to stay either as close to this berm as possible to take to, to track into the city, or they want to stay, if, especially if you're fast, you want to stay out wide, right, coming into the city. And as you get into the city, there's positions here and here that you want to take up. These, you can shoot down the tracks at defenders in, in both of these positions. You also want to try and get your tanks here to shoot down this back, what I'll call this back road uh, into the city. And, and if you're green, the same is true of these spots. They're just a little different. They're just a little bit different. They're trying, of course, you've got to watch your angles and I'll draw your angles like little kind of dotted line. So if there's defenders, if there's red team here, the green team might be susceptible if they pull up here. So you gotta be smart about how you attack the city. If you're green, you gotta be careful uh, that there might be a red person here that's sniping into this area. So these positions change based on where the defenders are, but notice that they're the corner of buildings. These positions will change based on where your defenders are, right? So. You've got to get into the city. You you want to get control of the city enough to then place heavies on the cap circle. One strategy that is very helpful is if the heavies that do pull onto the cap circle, and it does take sacrifice. I get that, but let's say the green make it here first. They want to and they and you're a heavy. Don't sit back here as a heavy. You should sit up front of the of the cap circle. And why is that? Because if you die, you want your body to now be a defensive point for your team. And even before you die, your body will be a defensive point for your team. So you want your heavies to try to basically build a barricade, if you will, to the red team if they have not capped. If the red team has capped, then you want to build a defensive barrier as best you can to the green team that is trying to take back the cap circle. And it'd look more like this. So that way your, your allies can sit in here, maybe mediums and lights that are helping cap, get the cap points. And so even though only three tanks count towards cap, cap points, you still want to put several tanks up to five, maybe even six tanks on the cap circle if you can. The rest should be in defensive positions holding as best they can counter defensive positions of the enemy team. So this is a brawl point in the, in the encounter battle and it takes most of your team to get there and then most of your team to capture it. So if you try too soon, all you're doing is making people aware that someone is on the cap circle. But if you can place three tanks on at once, then go ahead and do it. And again, start to build your defensive barrier on the cap circle itself with your heavies and if if you don't have heavies then obviously mediums become an opportunity as well if you have tank destroyers that have good frontal armor or can can be a defensive barrier then you can use them as well what i will say about the encounter battle is it's a little easier for the red artillery to shoot onto the cap circle than it is the green artillery they can still do it it's still challenging but obviously the green artillery so if you think about it they're where they can land most of their shells is going to be here because they got to come over these buildings and land onto the cap circle if you're red by having your defensive units kind of pushed forward here you have a better opportunity to not get cap destroyed by artillery now they still may hit you because they may move slightly to get a better angle through the, through the kind of door corridor here. I'm just trying to give you a, a little bit of knowledge here. Where if you're green and trying to cap, there's really no safe place from the arty here. You'd have to be behind a building. Uh, and again, you still, if you can put three people here, then that's what you'll wanna do. They'll have to use, if you have a good defensive, they'll have to have fairly sufficient and efficient artillery in order to root you out because once you've built a even a dead barricade here it's going to be harder and harder for any other type of tank to to root you out of the cap circle so there you go there's highway that's how it plays in general you know let me know if this is uh, helpful by hitting the like button if you like 
what we're doing here at JBoz Gaming, then please consider hitting that subscribe button to the YouTube channel because that helps the channel grow. And if you want to get further notifications of when I drop another video, just you know, go ahead and ring that bell and that will give you a notification of when the next video drops. Uh, until then, happy tanking and good luck out there.